In the Opana title, there's a painkiller called Opana, and I spelled it Opana like that, like a reference to O Pioneer. Just go like the way it's spelled. Don't fuck with drugs, kid. Don't do drugs, just give them to us. It's, it's very heavily a little ugly main influence on the production. He came out to be what it was. I showed the Audi one night when he came over. Plus the sample mentions doing drugs, so we just filled in the blanks with yeah. the rest of it. Wake up with the ache that fades, pop two pills with Gatorade. Uh, so basically I'm waking up, my head's already pounding, and I reach for like whatever bottle is on my dresser, which is probably a hot Gatorade or something, just sitting there for four days. Round my neck hang gator fangs, might reveal more at a later date, but I don't know. Hey, ironically, might reveal more at a later date is that literally this. Like, I'm explaining my lyrics, like I'm revealing more at a later date. Young Snow, kinda go with the flow, bring a hoe backstage. Tell her, tell me everything you know about life, and then I bounce. This is like not a specific circumstance, but if I met a girl backstage or something, I would literally talk to her and try and get to know her, and then I found out that all she wants to do is suck my dick, so I was like, all right, never mind, I leave. Roxy is hitting hard, I'm feeling fucking sick. I'll have to smoke a half an ounce just to balance it out. Ruby backing out, Ruby blacking out, Falling fucking deeper, I think Ruby cashing out. Grass is always greener when the graves are lacking crowds. Look who's laughing now. I'm, th I'm saying that maybe my life was better before I had like this quote unquote clout and, and like popularity or whatever. So the grass is always greener when the grave is lacking crowds, meaning like literally the grass is greener. You can see more of the grass. It's also an expression for how good things are. So I'm saying maybe it's better without having fans and how having success. Um, look who's laughing now is a fuck you to everybody back home and anybody that told me that I couldn't do this, which they told me that for 12 fucking years. So that's a big fuck you to anybody that told me that. An audience cracking up, you can let the curtains down now. Yeah. I wallow in sorrow, ain't no tomorrow. Missed a call from Slick, I woke up in a gown. How? I just bought 10 Roxy's, called up Adi, then I crushed it up. Roxy's are 30 milligrams and one pill of oxycodone. Uh, very strong pill, um, can lead to very bad habits. Chronic laced with something, I'm like, fuck it, let me hit the blunt. Rolling down your block, it ain't shit for the set to crush it up. Told that bitch, get out of my ear, she needs to go and hit the blunt. Xanax bars up in my drink before I pull them. Crush them up. Crushing the Xanax before I put it in the drink is like, you know, you don't want people to know you're popping Xanax, you're in front of family, you're in front of friends, and or you don't want people to know you have that habit. You know, it's one way to hide it. It never fucks with you, homeboy, oh don't act like you can hit the blunt. Take that motherfucking bat upside your skull and crush it up. Yeah, there's a lot of people I don't like. Um, leave it at that. So full of them drugs, I might throw up. I knew I shouldn't have hit the blunt. Yo, the joint got me high as fuck. Yo. Really? <laughs> Damn, I should have smoked more of it. Yeah.